Pokemon breeding. Breeding is, was a mechanic introduced since Generation 2. And, well, it's a pretty fun thing to do. You leave two compatible Pokemon in an egg group where they could breed. However, during the years, there have been some, well, interesting breeding pairs. That, and what I mean interesting, I just mean a little strange. So, there I'm just going to talk about some weird Pokemon breeding pairs. Enjoy the video, guys. So, first let's start off with Dragonite and um, Magikarp. So, I find it a little odd that Magikarp can evolve, I mean that um, Magikarp can breed with Dragonite. Because, look at Magikarp. And then you tell me if, um, hold on, let's just get it. You tell me if that makes sense, that Dragonite should be able to breed with it. And it's a little odd, in my opinion, that Dragonite gets to breed with Magikarp. It's a little strange, um, but I guess it doesn't really make any sense. I mean, I know Magikarp is in the water and Dragonite group. But it just doesn't make sense. The reason why these two could breed, I guess, is because it does make sense for Dragonite to breed with a with a Gyarados. I'm just saying, it's a little odd for Magikarp to be able to breed with Dragonite. Anyway, now let's move on to a rather interesting breeding pair as well. So let's start with Gorgeist, that can breed with a um. That could breed with a Slugma. I mean, like... How does this work, necessarily? I mean, Gorgeist is a pumpkin. And... Slugma is a lava snail. I don't understand how this actually, like, happens. It's just a little odd, in my opinion. Because I don't find how a, um... How a... How Gorgeist gets to breed with Slugma. Wouldn't Slugma burn Gorgeist? Uh, in fact, it's a little odd to see any Pokemon besides Slugma and Macargo breed with Slugma. Because it's like just as hot as the sun. It's a little odd, you know? And I, I can't really come up with an explanation for it. It's a little strange and... um. Yeah, I guess so. So now let's go on with one of the most oddest uh, breeding pairs, Skitty. And... Well, Lord! Ugh, God, how does this happen? Like, it's a little strange on how these two would be able to breed. I mean, Well, Lord is the biggest Pokemon, and Skitty is one of the smallest. Like... How does this worse than work? In fact, anything breeding with a whale lord is a little strange. Like, for example, um, Pikachu, Lucario, Fennekin, and and any other Pokemon in the field that group can breed with a whale lord. A little strange. In fact, I don't even know why whale lord is in the field that group. It lives in the sea. Why is it in the field that group? It doesn't really, um, make much, like, like, hold on. It doesn't really make much, like, a uh, sense why these two could breed. Like, it's a little strange. Like, it's a little strange. I don't understand why Whale Lord and Skitty could breed. Anyway, um... So, next, I'm going to have to put on this list that, um, Ninetales can breed with Pikachu. Yes. Ninetales can breed with, um, Pikachu. This, I found this to be a little strange, because we're breeding a Psychic Fox with a mouse, which doesn't really make sense. I mean... How does a fox breed with a mouse? It doesn't really make much sense. Um, I don't really understand this. I mean, it's a little strange, um, on how these two get to breed with each other. I kind of don't understand that. It's a little odd, in my opinion. 
So now let's go on to another Pokemon. That is the infamous um, Tyrantrum, which is Tyrantrum is a very cool Pokemon that is very powerful. It's a very good Dragon Rock type. But, yeah, let's see what we could breed it with. We could breed it with... Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. We can breed a Wiss. A Magikar! Woo! Yes! Yeah, doesn't. This is just as weird as be able to breed a Skitty with a Whale Lord. Because Tyrantrum is by far the biggest Pokemon. So, how does a T Rex breed with a Carp? I don't understand that. It's a little odd on how these two breed. Like,. I find it a little strange how a, f how a fish breeds with a dinosaur. I mean, dinosaurs are known to eat everything in their past, and Tyrantrumus has been known to be very aggressive. So, don't you think that Tyrantrum would just eat Magikarp? Alright, so now let's go to the mineral egg group, which I'm not going to these by egg groups, but I found this to be kind of funny. That Vanillux, or Vanilla, we're just going to put Vanillish, could breed with Trubbish. Like, yeah, I kind of feel like this is a little strange, because, um, I don't understand how this, like, how this works. I mean, Trubbish is, um, a garbage, and... Vanillish's ice cream. So yeah, so yeah, my friends, I guess if you put your ice cream in the garbage, this is what you get. You could get a baby. So yeah, next time make sure to um, put your ice cream in your garbage and make and make sure before the garbage men get it that there's not an egg in there. Anyway, I think that um I'm gonna stop like imagining the perfect pair of Pokemon that could breed. So now, let's start off with the Ditto. Now, Ditto has been known to breed with every single Pokemon in the game. Because it is in the unknown egg group. Well, except for Nidoqueen, I think. But it could breed with any Pokemon in the game and produce a baby. And since it has no gender, it's been known to basically be everybody's breeding slave. So, why does... Why does, um, why, like, what Pokemon cannot, can Brito not dick breed with? Well, bum 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 It can't breed with itself. Which begs the question, where do they come from? Anyway, uh, I just think that Ditto should be able to breed with itself, but instead it gets to breed with every Pokemon in the game. You cannot get a baby Ditto, so that's mainly why Ditto is the breeding slave that it is. And that is why most people just keep Ditto for a breed slave. Not many people use Ditto competitively, and most of them just use it as a breeding slave to make an egg. And that is just some weird Pokemon breeding pairs. So yeah, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.